Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Delightful Creations. I'm Amber. Today I wanted to share with you some of the journals that I have purchased for me to use throughout the year 2023 and of course beyond if I don't get to them. I have five of them here and I really wanted this year to be all about focus. And so that's my word for the year is focus. And the first thing I want to focus on is my faith. The second thing I want to focus on is my family. And the third thing I want to focus on is fitness. And that's also physical fitness, mental health, um, like mental fitness, self-love, all that kind of stuff. So the first journal that I want to share with you is my prayer journal, Peaceful Moments to Bless Your Heart. And I thought this was such a cute little little journal book. I ordered all of these um, online except for the bottom one I did find in a store. So I chose this book because I thought it would be a great little place. It has a little prayer and then space to write and then it also gives you a verse that you can look up. Well, I mean you can actually like read it right there. Um, the only thing I don't like is they're really thin pages and they're double-sided. So you'll have one on one side and another one on the other side but I can choose to do it in this journal. I could write with a pencil. I just don't like how pencil type tends to smear when I write. Um, or I could just use my faith journal and take what prompts speak to me um, or pull it out. Maybe one side speaks to me. I'm not really sure how I'm going to use this yet, but I, I just had to have it. It was like $2. So I wanted to own this. The next one I chose to buy was called Art Up This Journal. An artistic way to have fun with journaling in your everyday life. And this is kind of like, I almost want to say like a mixed media or like a, there's journals out there that are like wreck this journal or destroy this journal. And I feel like this is kind of what this one is. Cause here's the prompt. It says design a crest for your family name. And so you would just kind of doodle something on there. But then there was another one um, right here. Somebody had already kind of polka dotted some stuff and it's a used book. And I didn't mind that because again, I can take these prompts and I can use them in my own junk journal. Um, but there was one in here where it said, take this page out and I don't know, take this page over oh, right here, staple money onto this page and leave it in a public place to make someone's day prompt seven. And I thought that was kind of a cool little idea. Um, to be able to do that kind of stuff. So this one, I'm excited to just kind of have a play around with. And I again, I think I paid like $2 for something. Um, something like this, but I, I didn't really mind that it was used. Now, this one is the Mindfulness Journal for Anxiety, Daily Prompts and Practices to Find Peace. So what I'm working on um, is calming my mind down and being able to turn off the busyness um, that surrounds us all in the world. There's a little rip up here in the corner. Again, not too concerned with it. And I did tell my daughter about this journal. And so I'm going to take it up to for her to look at this weekend. And um, she might actually keep this journal because I, I bought it with intention of me kind of flipping through it and, and taking pieces out that maybe pertain to me, um, you know, or gifting it to her because she's, she doesn't really journal. I've made her a couple of journals, um, but this may work more for her. It's kind of, it seems like it might be a little more of a younger, she's not, she's not super young, but, um, you know, a little bit more younger practice, but we'll see how we go with that. And then the next one I have is called the Boundaries Journal. And this one, again, I paid, um, this was the only one I bought brand new. So this, these, all three of these were used. This is brand new. I got this one off of Amazon, I believe. Um, I'm not sure because I bought it about a month ago. I haven't done anything in it, but I liked how it sets it up. It says discovering your influences, exploring your boundaries, addressing anxiety, guilt, and fear, loving and accepting yourself and maintaining your boundaries. And it gives you all of that inside of this journal. So it's kind of like a book with a workbook built in. It's really, really fun. I have, I have browsed a few of the pages. Um, you know, it gives you tables. It gives kind of like homework, thinking things, gives you room, plenty of room to journal. I feel like if you don't have enough, you can slip a page in here or, you know, go off into another journal that may have more room for you to write. So I am stronger and more beautiful because of what I have come through. And I like that there's really inspiring quotes just like that throughout here. So I bought this one as well. And the last little journal book that I um, actually found in the thrift shop was Settle My Soul, A Hundred Quiet Moments to Meet with Jesus. And I just love this cover so much. And I, I, I had to have it. I, I had to have it. It's, it's foiled. It's really pretty. It's gorgeous. And even though it was used, I haven't completely flipped through here. But it seems like there's not any writing in here. And so I... I'm not going to be able to tear this book up. I want it, really wanted to use this book as it was intended to be used. Um, these pages are a decent 
thickness compared to the other journal that is double sided where you know you have your story a little prayer and then it has a journaling space story a little prayer questions journaling space. So there's not a lot of journaling space and they are again double sided but you can take that outside of the the book itself i just really liked the color scheme i love the flowers i like that there's a hundred days and so these are my journals so i have two faith journals and then I've got boundaries journal, an anxiety journal, and then an art journal. These are what I'm going to be working on this year along with, I'm still kind of working in this one, Start Where You Are. And this was, I believe, 2021. Now I can't remember. <laughs> I have to look. Or 2022 um, that I started working in here. And so I've only done a couple more pages that you guys haven't, that I didn't do with you on camera. Um, and I think this is a fun little notebook um, to keep working through. It's just, I've been really busy. So anyways, thanks for stopping by my channel. I hope you found some inspiration here and we'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye everyone. Have a great day.